Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Saturday Super Saturday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I've got some really powerful messages to share with you intuitively today before we even pull the cards. So I want to go into those messages first. So this is going to be a reading about you, about your special person and your divine journey. Whether you class yourself as a twin flame or in a soul connection, you're going to receive answers you need to hear today. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So when I go into the reading, I'm going to bring in two decks of cards today. I'm going to bring in the Meshes of Love Oracle cards by All Things Intuitive. And I'm also going to bring in these gorgeous Soulmate Romance cards. But before I shuffle those, I just want to talk about the Ascension symptoms I've been shown for giving you today. And also a powerful number sequence to give to you today. So we're going to start with that. So... I feel you may be seeing 1414. 14. Now, not long ago, we were shown 1818. 18, and obviously, you will get shown your own personal number sequences on this journey. But 14 is a powerful one. Why? Because it says to you to trust in miracles. That's what the number means. This is my debt, the powerful Angel Numbers Oracle 101. So if you're seeing 1414 14 or, you know, just the number 14 on its own, it's the way the universe is saying to you, there's a miracle coming your way. Now, you may see signs of that miracle in other ways. You may see a B or you may see a sign that really resonates with you in your journey, something that really blows your mind and stands out to you. And that's also a sign of your miracle. But seeing the number 14 is a sign of that miracle too. And the number one itself means new beginnings. Obviously, think about a new beginning that comes in in January, the start of a new year. And then April, it's all about miracles because you've got the miracle of springtime, Easter and power. So the angels are with you. And if you're seeing 144 or 444 or 111 or 1111 or any combinations of these, the angels are saying we're with you as you begin again. There's a new beginning here for you. There's a great change. And I feel this new beginning is actually happening between now and April. So we're in April right now. So between January this year and April, you will have been going through lots of things, lots of changes, lots of emotions, lots of things within the physical self. Maybe you've changed job or there's changes taking place. Why? Because the universe is preparing you for a miracle. A miracle in love and life. So not just being with your person and creating the life you want in love, but bringing in that dream career, bringing in the money you've been thinking about, all the wonderful things and magic that you are spending time wanting. And this can also be a miracle in the physical body and a miracle in the physical self. So this can also be getting healthier, happier and more in alignment with your true self. Now, also, if I bring in the Angel Numbers book by Carl Gray... I know so many of you use a book like this to connect with numbers. Right at the front, it's got the sequence 1414. 14, and it says, your angels are offering you strong support at this time, helping you to reconnect with any talents you have forgotten or aspects of your being that have been discouraged in the past. And what I really connect with here when I'm connecting with that is you working on your mission, your purpose, your goals, your dreams, remembering that you are a spiritual being having a psychic experience, a spiritual experience, a human experience. So that means you're able to harness all those psychic aspects of you on the earth right now. And sometimes we forget that when we are busy with this journey, you know, we're thinking about them, worrying about them, focused on them. We forget to work on service or we forget to work on certain things. And you're being reminded there's a miracle coming in and the angels are with you. So more prosperity and power ahead. Now, physically, you may be going through things in your physical self right now. You may have itchy eyes, okay? If you're going through a feeling where your eyes are itchy or you're going through eye issues, it could mean that you've got grit in your eyes, like that feeling of that. Or you may be having weird sensations in your eyes. Maybe you feel there's something in there, but there isn't. Or you're having floaters in your eyes or like cobweb effects, you know, if you're going through anything like that, it's because we may not be liking what we're seeing in a physical way. So when we don't like what we see at home or when we don't like what we see at work or when we don't like what we're seeing on social media or when we don't like what we're seeing with them or in their life, then we start getting eye issues. We have to choose to see things in a powerful way. We have to change the way we are looking at things. So we're looking at things with love, not fear. And then when we choose to see things with the eyes of love, not fear, 
and we choose to face things that may be bringing up fear and things we need to change, it brings beauty back into our life. And you may be connecting with this as well because that's what your person is absolutely going through right now, looking at their karmic life, knowing they need to change it, wanting to look at your face and not being able to. And that's causing them pain. And if they are itching, whether they've got itchy eyes or they're itching anywhere else on their body, they have a need to break free. And you can go through this yourself if you're going through something karmic in your own life. If you need to break away from people, people that may be getting you down, like even friends and family that you've outgrown or moved on from, or a job you need to leave, or even if you're in your own karmic relationship right now. If you're feeling trapped and you're craving change, you can start itching. So to choose peace, it creates peace. When we choose peace, remember, we always have a choice. We can choose to respond with love, not fear. We can choose to be happy now. We can choose peace. When we choose peace in this moment, we can then visualize the life that we want to love. And then that creates a vision of that and that brings in peace to the eye. So I feel once you start living your best life again and focusing on what you love again and focusing on love, not fear again, all those feelings are going to go away. And if you've seen 1414, that's a reminder of your miracle that's coming in, especially between now and the end of April. So let's connect with the cards then. So messages of love, what do we need to know for you today? Let's bring in a message of love for you, whether this is for you, from your person or from your angels. A message of love for your divine one. So what does your person either want to share with you or what do they need to know? I've got this card as well. And then the energy around the connection itself. What do we need to know for the connection? Powerful cards these are. I bought these from eBay. I think it was eBay or Etsy or something like that. I think it was Etsy, not eBay. What am I talking about? Soulmate Romance cards got these from makeplaincards.com. Unfortunately, I don't know who created these. I always do say if you're making your own deck of cards, make sure you write your name on. Like on my deck here, it's got my name on. Otherwise, when we've had these cards for a while, we kind of forget who they buy. So what's the message for you today? What's the message for you today? That card there, wow. And the message for your person jumped straight out of the deck. We've got two cards. And the message for your journey, wow, jumped on the camera there. Okay, remember the real message of this day is there's a miracle coming in. Trust in that miracle and make sure you're focusing on love, not fear. So the message for you today is fate. Look at this. This is a destined partnership. And it absolutely is. And they know that too. You know, that came up in a reading from them to you not long ago. So this is a destined partnership. That means you're meant to be. That means it doesn't matter how much you try and fight it or run away from it. You'll always end up back together because it's fate and destiny. And the message is, it, it is true that my heart always skips a beat when I'm in your arms and when you take my name. Wow. So what this means is when you're together, your heart will skip a beat. That means when you're with them, their heart skips a beat too. So you may also be going through a heart chakra activation right now where your heart is beating faster or it's skipping a beat because you know something's coming. You know, think about that song. Is it by Ollie Murs? It says, my heart skips, skips a beat. And that's absolutely what it's like when you're together. And when you take my name, wow, I feel this is also a message of what's to come, a message of possible in marriage in the future. When they take your name or you take their name in marriage, you know, and say, I do. I feel that's also a vision of what's to come. I definitely feel that the universe and heaven and God are creating the way for marriages to come in for twin flames. Even if you don't want to be married again, or you don't believe in marriage, this is really what's ordained for you. So you can take their name. I'm also feeling this as if they say your name when you're in the heat of passion or in the heat of the moment, or when they say your name, your heart will skip a beat. And that's how you know it's true. That's how you know it's real because it's a destined partnership. Very powerful. Now, the energy around them is protected. You are safe and divinely guided. So this is also reminding you that any time they aren't with you, they are protecting you. They're protecting you as they learn their lessons. Look at this. And this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. So this is reminding you that you are a teacher and a student of each other. So you are teaching them lessons right now, lessons that open them up spiritually, and they are teaching you lessons that open you up spiritually. So your person is also in your life to teach you a very powerful, valuable spiritual lesson. 
and your journey is protected. And also we're protected while they may be learning lessons from other people. So if you're thinking, why is that karmic partner in their life? Or why are they with that friend right now? Or why is that person around them when they're toxic to them? That person will be there to teach them and you a spiritual lesson. Because through that person, you'll be learning to release jealousy or comparison, to remember your value, that nobody compares to you and that you are so special. And that person will be teaching them what they do not want and where they do not want to be. So take this out, it resonates with your journey. But I feel this message is they are protecting you as well when they are going through certain lessons. I only want two things in my life. I want you and I want us forever. And that's what they are sharing with you today. They want two things. They want you and they want you two forever. And what I'm also connecting with this is, you know, if you're thinking, oh, do they want me and someone else? Or is there a third party or a choice? There's never a choice. When they choose themselves, they'll always choose you. And I also feel there's a message here for anyone who's worried about um, them coming to you. We've got US forever. I'm feeling this is America so if you're thinking, are they going to move to me? Maybe you live in the US and you're wondering if they're going to move to you and maybe it's on your mind and it could be challenging you because you know you want to stay in the US. I feel that's a big sign for you that they want you and they want to be in the US forever. So that's also a sign there for someone watching. Obviously, that won't resonate with everyone. The message there for everyone is they want you and they want you forever which means they want you and they want us, the partnership which, desti which is destined forever. Your person is also saying, did you see how much I love you? Did you see I'm still here with you even if you broke my heart? So this is reminding you that you are what? Did you see how much I love you? What I'm connecting with that is they may have shared something on social media that's there to show you they still love you. Did you see how much I love you? And this is about looking beyond the physical if they've broke your heart. Your person is saying, I'm still with you even if I broke your heart. I'm still with you even if you broke my heart. Because remember that, you know, you might think they've broken your heart, but their heart is breaking because they're not with you. So it broke their heart too, and they're showing that to you. It's like your person saying, don't you see how much I love you? Can't you see I'm still here with you even after everything? And the energy around the connection is acceptance. Look at this. This is so powerful. You know, when we move into acceptance, everything will follow. When we understand and believe in our faith and know that everything happens for a reason, we surrender and we give our struggles to heaven and we find peace and we accept things in the moment. And really patience is about acceptance because patience is about you know, you might think patience is waiting, waiting for that phone call or waiting for that person or waiting for something to change. Really, patience is acceptance, knowing everything is exactly as it's meant to be in that moment, to live in the now and enjoy the now and be at peace. And look at this, your eyes tell a story. They're giving me fear. So anytime you go into fear, close your eyes and connect with the power of the love. And isn't this powerful? We've got the eyes when they're giving me fear again there. So you may be burping today, releasing fear. The eyes are when we don't like what we're seeing in a physical way. So the eyes tell you the truth. Remember, if you look into their eyes, you'll always see the truth, regardless of the situation, whether you're looking directly into their eyes in person, or you're looking at a photograph of them, or you're looking at something else. The eyes will always tell you the truth. The eyes tell you that you love them and they love you. The love is there and it gets stronger every single day. So no matter what may come between us, you'll be there for me. And that's the truth. No matter what goes on, no matter what may come between you, such as a distance like an ocean or a difference like an age gap or a karmic person or anything else or a struggle or a challenge, the love will always be there. And they may not always be able to be there for you in that moment, but that's when you're able to connect with yourself and source. That's when you're able to remember, and I've just seen 1414 on the time that just grabbed my attention. That's when you know that you are safe. So if you feel like you want them to be there for you and they aren't, trust that that miracle will come, that they will be there for you in the future, that they will show you that they can, you know, you can trust them and they can trust you. But the eyes tell a story. And I feel that's what you need to know today. So definitely, if there's any issues with the eyes, itching eyes, problems with the eyes, floaters in the eyes, you know, running eyes, maybe you're just crying and that's flushing your eyes out. It's the power of the love. So accept this truth today. Everything happens for a reason. 
accept this truth that it's a destined partnership that means they can't run from it neither can you and it's also protected so accept that you are safe and divinely guided and whatever's happening right now you are both learning lessons that you need to learn i hope this helps have a great day and i'll see you soon